some people say math is difficult, but it requires of the unanimous that it's not difficult. Similarly, now coming to physics, we all use mathematics, we all use the analysis part, also we use the language part, particularly English, in understanding the typical problems of physics. Why why the second step may become fault? Yes. Maybe because of this thing. Because of the first why, step. Why the second step come from the first? Yeah. This is uh, Bhimsen Ponda working as PGT Physics in Kendra Vidyalaya No. 1, Bhuneswar. Recently, I have been awarded by NCRT for the National Award of Innovative Practices and Experiments in School Education and Teacher Education Institutions for the year 2022 and 23 project was on documented problem solving strategy and this is actually a small strategy to solve conceptual and numerical problems of physics particularly at secondary or higher secondary classes. So in this strategy the teacher is supposed to discuss a particular concept in the class once the concept is discussed, a question will be given to the students to solve and side by side they will be given a white paper to write down the steps that are coming to their mind. That means they will write what are the things that came to their mind while solving the questions. That means the formula, that particular uh, uh, concept. So anything that is coming to their mind uh, while solving the question, they will write down in that white paper, side by side, they will solve the question. So once these two works are finished, so they will deposit uh, the answer copy and that DPS writing to the teacher. The teacher will see the answer. If the answer is correct, then no problem. If there is any mistake in the answer, the teacher can go for the DPS writing and will see as well as analyze the steps the child has followed while uh, uh, solving the question. This will definitely give a strong feedback to the teacher to know the thought process of the child and the teacher can uh, give instruction, can rectify the child accordingly which will definitely help the child in the next attempt and when questions from that particular chapter will be asked again, the student can solve it comprehensively, comprehensively and definitely with a convincing way. So this small strategy, the students as well as teachers can follow for uh, solving problems related to physics.